welcome back. Thank you for clicking on the thumbnail. Of course, that always means a lot to me because it means that you're watching this video. And so I am very grateful for the fact that you are here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to Seven Star Fitness. My name is Keegan. And today we're going to be talking about terkesterone. You know, that supplement that like everyone was talking about like three months ago. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about that today. Uh, I'm pretty slow on this one mostly because I decided I wanted to take at least a month of taking it to like give you some sort of accurate idea as to what to expect and have a pretty decent opinion on it and also because I'm slow and I was making videos about teaching everyone about creatine. So, you know, check those out if you haven't. Uh, but to get down to business, terkesterone. So, uh, I'm late to the party, so a lot of people have already covered this. I mean, this guy's covered it, this guy's covered it, this guy's covered it. I mean, it's pretty much all over YouTube. So, uh, I don't really expect this to get hella views, but nonetheless, I feel like it's worth throwing my hat in the ring to give you some idea as to what my experience was like, because I think out of all the people mentioned who did actually talk about it, I don't think any of them really went through the process of buying some and trying it themselves to have that particular opinion on the subject. So, anecdotal as it may be, let's get into my experience on terkesterone. But first, a little bit of groundwork. For those of you who don't know what terkesterone is, terkesterone is a class of ectysteroid, which quite simply put is actually a form of, in a lot of cases where we're talking about insect testosterone. The idea here being that this is supposed to have an anabolic effect on human beings. The logic behind this comes from, I think, at least one study on its effect on rats and the increase in, I believe, testosterone in these rats. <laughs> but here's the thing, as you could probably guess, rats aren't people. So like, you know, can't really equate those experiences 100%, like a one-to-one -one comparison between the two just doesn't really make a lot of sense. So a lot of people in the scientific community were like, hey, this seems interesting, but of course, very early stages. Let's take a look into this and see if there's any value to it. But of course, the studies done since that have not been able to be replicated in terms of the actual results. And the end result is that none of the research thus far has really pointed towards it being a valuable supplement for us fitness enthusiasts, bodybuilders, lifters, and whatnot. So why does it even deserve to be talked about? Why, why are we mentioning it? Well, quite simply put, uh, it tends to go through these waves of coming back up in the public consciousness, especially in the fitness world. Uh, now, apparently this happened, I believe, I want to say it's a, the 80s. It popped up and was really sort of like the talk of the town, the new rage, like, oh, terkesterone is going to be the new big thing in the fitness industry. Now, like any fad that isn't based in science, as you can probably guess, it faded into obscurity and it seems that it went through a resurgence. And at this point, it's fading back into obscurity. And the more I say that, the more I wonder, why in the name of God am I making a video about this now as it's fading? You know, I'm just going to hope that by whatever twist of fate, when it resurges again, I'll be somewhere in the mix of videos that pop up. And that's the reason you're watching this now. Or maybe there's still enough people who care about this. Anyways, point is, it was supposed to be touted as this like extra amazing edge for people who are lifting and looking to get that increase in testosterone. You know, that's sort of the thing that everyone's chasing, especially people who are in the sort of natty sphere of things. They're trying to chase some sort of natural way to boost testosterone. Spoiler alert, you can't boost your testosterone with over-the-counter stuff. All you can really do is optimize your current production. But that's a whole other video. That's a, it's a, we'll get into that another time. If you're interested in that, comment below. Let me know. I'd be happy to talk about that. Um, now, when we're talking about terkesterone and anecdotal evidence, that's where we start to get into why a lot of people were putting stock into this. Is because a lot of people were like, oh, these turkey gains, I'm getting so strong. And you started to see a lot of social media posts, uh, TikTok, Instagram, you know, that sort of thing with people posting how they took terkesterone and boom, they were like making all these gains and getting so huge and putting on so much muscle. Now, here's the thing. When we really look at the effects of terkesterone, we kind of have to take into account the placebo effect. For those of you who don't know, the placebo effect is a pretty simple concept. It means that when you take something and you believe it's going to work, it will have some sort of effect on your body. 
oftentimes. Uh, this effect is not due to the actual impacts of the substance that you are taking, but due to the extremely powerful nature of one's ability to believe in something causing some sort of change. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's even been cases of, uh, uh, if, I remember, if I remember what it's called, psychosomatic pregnancy, which is where a woman can believe that she's pregnant so deeply that she actually develops the symptoms. We're talking like growing belly, stopping of period, lactation, the whole nine. Wow, boy, shit, I'm telling you, it's crazy. And if the body is capable of that, the human body can do that. Obviously, you can add a little bit of extra muscle to you while you're taking terkesterone if you believe it's strong enough. But I digress. Point is, a lot of these dudes were taking terkesterone and then talking about its huge benefits. But here's the thing. There's a lot of factors that aren't controlled for. It's a very unscientific method of testing the validity of terkesterone's effect on a lifter. One, how long have these people been lifting? Are they just seeing noob gains? Very possibly just seeing noob gains. Two, did they make any changes to their program? Uh, did they start a new program that might have been a little bit more effective? Three, are they just doing their current program better? So maybe more intensity, maybe you know they're putting in more effort into their reps, thereby seeing more progress week over week. Maybe if they were just putting in more effort before that, they would have seen those exact results point is these things are not controlled for a lot of variables far beyond the ones i've mentioned here are not controlled for and as a result you cannot trust it this is one of the reasons why anecdotal evidence falls at the very bottom of the list of valuable scientific input it is it's not scientific that's it's it's not it's barely input it's just noise really so all that to say, when you see all those people online who are like, bro, I'm getting all these gains off the turkesterone, you gotta get in on this, it's so dope. Don't trust it, don't don't trust it. And as someone who tried himself, I took turkesterone, it's actually in that lineup of supplements behind me. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Maybe Editor Keaton can comment on that. Is it very visible? I'm just going to hope it is. Uh, but it's in that lineup there. Uh, and I took it for, I believe, four, was it four weeks or six weeks? I had 120 caps. It was two caps per serving and 500 milligrams of turkesterone was supposed to be in that serving. I took that daily. And honestly, I did not see all, anything worth noting in terms of progress. I mean, I've been lifting for like 15 years, more than 15 years. And I'd like to think that I've been putting, you know, a lot of effort in. And, you know, I wanted to see what this product could do. I came in with a very open mind. Quite frankly, before I saw a lot of the information coming from Nippert and uh, Picture Fit and uh, Shredded Sports Science. But the point is, I went in there thinking, maybe this has something. Maybe there's some, val some validity here. Maybe there's something worthwhile, something worth actually investigating, actually investing in. I can tell you from anecdotal experience, which, I mean, again, you don't know, bottom of the totem pole, but nonetheless, I tried it. It confirmed what the science seems to be saying, which is there's not a lot of evidence to support its validity. So for those of you who are looking for them turkey gains to take you to the next level, sorry, it's not, it's not going to be here. This is not, this ain't it, all right? The science says it ain't it. Experiences say it ain't it. There's no real data to support it. I hate to be the one to be the bearer of bad news, but that's where we're at at this point. You're better off putting your money somewhere else. In fact, in a lot of cases, for most of y'all, you're better taking all that money, putting it back in your pocket, and then just making a better program, trying harder with said program, and dialing in your diet better. You'd be surprised what those things can do. Anyhow, I just wanted to do a quick little video on that because... I realized I got it, tried it, and didn't say anything about it. And that was the whole purpose of me buying it in the first place. Content. It truly is king. 
and it basically runs my life now. So uh, anyways, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you liked it, please hit the like button and of course subscribe to the channel so you can be made aware of all the cool content we got coming up. Uh, of course, like I promised you guys, I am intending on doing a final creatine video, which is going to talk about things you can combine creatine with to improve its effectiveness. I still have to do research on that. Honestly, it's been daunting. Potty training a two-year-old is destroying me on the inside, both from an energetic level and from a spiritual level. Deeply frustrating. Oh my God, do not have the energy to dedicate to research recently. But I promise, it's coming. Just give me, just give me some time, all right? Anyhow, like I said, that's the end of the video. Of course, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment below too. Let me know what future videos you want to see, any particular subjects you'd like me to tackle. There's a couple of you who have commented. I have not forgotten about you. I will be tackling it in the future. Uh, in fact, one of you uh, who actually commented about combining things with creatine and BCAs, don't worry, I'm getting to you. You're actually, you're, you're gonna be kind of part of this next video on creatine. Anyhow, that's coming. Look forward to it. And of course, stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace.